So, continuing with uh, liability and negligence and all that kind of good stuff. Um, corporate liability. Uh, as I have mentioned, it used to be we'd say, uh, you know, it's my job to keep your name out of the papers now. Uh, it may be my job to keep you out of jail because, although it was very rare in the past, increasingly, um, executives, senior management, owners of corporations are being found liable. And as I mentioned, this can slip over into criminal law and, and therefore, you know, people can be facing jail time. Um, you know, if uh, there are situations where the law is saying this is fraud, you have, uh, you know, misled people as to what you were doing with the company, what, uh, you know, kind of money you were making, so on and so forth. But uh, we are also seeing uh, situations where it's not just that somebody has been done an injury and there's a civil case here. But when it's a matter of liability and negligence, <clears throat> sometimes if the, the negligence is very negligent, that gets into criminal negligence uh, in the same way as, uh, you know, speeding once it passes a certain threshold, is no longer speeding. It's driving without due care and attention, and that is a criminal charge. And so being criminally negligent, uh, a, you know, a member of the C-suite can be found, you know, criminally negligent, criminally liable, and may be facing jail time. Uh, either for commission, doing things wrong, or omission, not doing things that uh, we should have done to protect other people. So, uh, you know, it, that is something that we have to pay attention to. And the We, we need to point this out. And uh, the story that I'm about to tell you, I heard because um, it sort of, you know, happened, sort of, um, to uh, one of my co-instructors. Um, he, uh, at the time, was working for a mm, government agency, had uh, uh, a lot of properties, and they drove a lot of trucks. So they had a lot of in-ground fuel tanks, and the law had just recently changed. You were no longer allowed to have in-ground fuel tanks anymore because of the possibility, the liability, that the uh, tanks would corrode and the fuel would leak into the soil, and then you're faced with soil remediation and, you know, many, many thousands and sometimes millions of dollars. So, um... He was concerned he was responsible for one particular site and it had an in ground fuel tank. He was uh, complaining about this to his father in law one day. And his father in law said, Let me tell you a little story. And this uh, story uh, concerned a shoe company. And uh, of course, dealing with leather, uh, they deal with also lots of chemicals. Um, that are not very nice. Uh, and so, uh, at one particular site that they had, uh, somebody came in uh, from you know, some kind of environmental agency. We're doing an inspection, make sure everything's clean. Here, they go around. Uh, okay, this is uh, you know pretty good. What's in those drums over there? He said, I don't know. Uh, they were here when I got here. So they went and had a look. The stuff in the drums was particularly noxious. 
to make matters worse, it was leaking and had been leaking for some considerable time. So, the corporation immediately sprang into action and unlike uh, all too many other corporations, they did not, you know, call up the spin masters. They, you know, did soil remediation, spent lots of money on it, and the, uh, you know, they cleaned it up. Everything's good. Dealt with uh, the noxious stuff properly. So the environmental guys came back, looked around, said, very nice work. Here's a fine for $300,000. And the company said, wait a minute, you know, we, as soon as we found out about this, we, we cleaned it up. And uh, the environmental guy said, nonetheless. So it ends up in court. And not only does the corporation lose, the court agrees, yes, this was negligence, but the guy who was responsible for that site, and you will remember, the stuff was deposited there before he was even on site. Uh, he was personally held liable for $50,000 of that fine, uh, which the, the company could not pay on his behalf. Uh, he was months away from retirement. You know, that'll put a heck of a crimp in your RSP. So, uh, you know, that, so this is it. Now, I, of course, because this is uh, somebody I know, I have to tell you the rest of the story. And that was that the next day he went into his boss's office and uh, laid a memo on his desk. And uh, the memo said, you know, we have this site, it needs to be cleaned up, please do it immediately. And his boss said, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we'll get around to it. And uh, my co-instructor said, let me tell you a little story. So he tells the story. He said, he didn't even know if he was in trouble because his boss, when he'd finished the story, just stood up and walked out of the office. And what he found out later was he walked down the hall to his boss's office, slapped the memo down on his desk. His boss said, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, uh, deal with it, we know. And co-instructor's boss said, let me tell you a little story. Tells the story. His boss gets on the phone, calls up corporate, somebody at the vice president level or C-suite or whatever, says, I'm going to fax you a memo in a minute. But before I do, let me tell you a little story. And my co-instructor said, that oil tank came out of the ground so fast, you would have thought it had dynamite under it. So, uh, you know, Use what motivation you can, uh, and even when it's for somebody else's benefit. Um, okay, um, we've talked about risk analysis. We, we often need to do a legal risk analysis. Uh, what is the risk of injury to us or to anybody else versus the cost of protection? our standard cost-benefit analysis. If the cost of protection is less than the risk, and of course risk, you know, we're talking about probability versus uh, total cost, um, then you need to do it, you know, and, and there is legal liability here. So, you know, pay attention to it, motivate your people, Tell them the little story. Uh, you know, negligence is a bad thing. Liability is a bad thing. Protect yourself, protect your enterprise from it.